Good afternoon. Thank you for being with us. I'm Greg Glover. And I'm Latrice Curry. For many Americans, the celebration of Independence Day comes with family, food, and fireworks. But those fireworks can cause trauma for those who fought for our freedom. Channel 3's Caroline Corden spoke with a local Vietnam veteran who wants neighbors to be mindful of veterans suffering from PTSD. For Roger Rayhor, the 4th of July is spent indoors. He's a disabled Vietnam veteran who to this day suffers from PTSD. Drafted in 1970, he spent a year in Vietnam with a transportation company. Many times he was the subject of harassment and attacks by the VA Cong. And they would hit us with rockets and RPGs, mortars and uh, automatic weapons fire. And uh, that was terrible. <laughs> There's no way to say it. Yeah, you can only do about five or ten miles an hour and you've got regular army troops shooting at you. It was uh, pretty horrific. At times I never thought I'd leave. I thought I would die there. These old photographs bring back memories, but so do fireworks. The 4th of July is tough for me. While he understands fireworks are part of a national celebration, the sounds of the bangs bring back flashbacks of his time in Vietnam. It'll, it'll represent itself by leaping, ducking, uh, jumping, whatever. It, it, it is truly a startle response. And he isn't the only one. The Department of Veteran Affairs estimates 15% of Vietnam War veterans suffer from PTSD, which is why he wants neighbors to be courteous of those who fought for our freedom. If there's someone you don't know what their background is, try not to hassle them. If they're reacting to the explosions, you can probably stay away or you can try and comfort them. In Chattanooga, Caroline Corgan, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.